Hello, my name is Dr. Julie Schell and from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital and I would like to show you how to give an injection to a dog. And this is great because often I will send my clients home to give injections to their pet. For instance, some arthritic dogs need a Cartrophin Vet injection uh, once a month or once a week. Some animals need insulin injections every day, twice a day. And so it's very important to get an understanding of what's going on. It's important to be as sterile as possible and today I'm going to give a vaccination injection, but giving a subcutaneous cartridge vet injection or insulin injection is very much the same. Um, it's important that you never touch the um, a syringe with your hand, like the needle with your hands. And basically you want to push the needle into the vial that you need to withdraw the medicine from, right in the bullseye, like there's a little circle, so you want to get it right into the bullseye center where the um, rubberized center is, and then you basically withdraw and sometimes you'll get air bubbles, so you can literally kind of slap it, like poke it with your finger, um, and that brings all the air bubbles to the top. You often see this on television shows where they'll do this, and then you basically squeeze out as much air bubbles as you can. If a couple of the drops come out, that's okay, except if you're dealing with insulin, you want to be as exact as possible. And there's little um, syringes that have proper markers, and so we will show you up close and personal when you come how to select the proper size of injection to give for your pet based on using the plunger. So once I have it like this, you want to line up the dog. If you have to pick up your dog to get it all ready, you can certainly gently put the, the cap back on the syringe and it's just important not to touch your hand or your finger with the needle. If you do, you have to replace the needle with a fresh one. And so you just undo it um, from the syringe like that and basically we're going to give an injection right on her middle side of her body and it's great if the owner pets the pet gives lots of treats we've already put on a nice some um, calming essential oils you, you should make a skin tint so you just kind of grab with your left hand if you're a right hand dominant person and you can either grab a chunk of the fur or you can grab a chunk of the skin and it's really good to keep massaging really hard and then you just basically elevate that to make a skin tint and push it really fast but it's important not to actually touch your thumb to the end of the plunger um, until it's in the skin so now my thumb is touching it and then you inject in there. And then I like to massage that area because that helps distribute the injection that you're giving. It's also a good rewarding effect. Good girl, Jetta. Jetta's being awesome. And then you can reward her with a little bit of a smell of a treat or a real cookie. She's awesome. She also likes vegetables, so that's a good reward too. So I'm gonna do this again. This is with another vaccination. She's actually due for her rabies vaccination. We do that once every two and a half years or um, if the titer is really good, even less frequently than that. So this one, I, I like to give an injection in the shoulder area. So again, you take off that needle, make sure there's no air bubbles in there, and you get somebody to kind of massage the area, and then you just kind of elevate the skin, and just skin tent. I kind of like desensitize the area by touching and massaging, making her feel really good. She might not like this, sometimes they will jump. So I just give her a little injection like that. Really short and then it's right in there. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't want to depress the syringe until it's right in the skin of the animal. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, that's basically how to give a subcutaneous injection, but definitely if you have questions and need to see it up close and personal, then definitely come on in. And also our website has some more information. It's called www.bowbottomvet.com or you can give us a call at 403-278-1984. Thank you very much.